Imagine being able to communicate with people around the world, being able to publish information instantly without needing a printer, a publisher, a distributor, or an editor. Imagine getting that perfect job because you know how to create web pages using HTML and CSS. Just imagine that. This video will show you how, to, how the web development course is set up so you can take the course as quickly and easily as possible. The first thing that you'll want to do is get logged into D2L. And once you're logged into D2L, you can load your courses and go into web development. Go into materials, content, and that will show you where all the content is for the course. Now, the course only has three things, but the main part is the course map. So you'll start there, and this will give you the layout for the whole course. We will come back and I'll show you the syllabus and the grade tracker when we finish the course map. So go into the course map. So what we've done is we've set up a course map for each week of the course. So we include a link going to the activities. We also list what you need to accomplish that week. These dates are different because it hasn't been finalized yet. And it'll give you an estimated time of how much study time you need to do to accomplish these tasks. So let's go into the details, setting up your tools. We start out by telling you the main things you're going to learn in this module. So you'll learn how to do, in this case, these five things. And then every module tells, tunes you into the radio station WIIFM, or what's in it for me. Cognitive scientists have found out that we learn better and we retain information when we have something to hook onto, if we know why it's important to us. So if your brain knows why something is important, then it'll be much easier to learn it, and you'll remember it longer. So every module, we tell you why this is important to you as a person. Then we have a series of learning activities. You can see we have videos, we have some reading, and basically things to do. This is a very hands-on course, so you'll be doing lots and lots of different work. So here we're setting up all the different tools you'll need for the course. And then down at the bottom, you'll have your graded assignments. So this is what you'll be evaluated on to see if you've learned the material from the learning activities. So here's there's two, two graded assignments, sending an email and fulfilling a CAT. A CAT is a classroom assessment technique. It's like a fill in your answer uh, or a, a paragraph answer on a quiz question. When you finish the graded things at the very end of the module, you can click on here and this will show you the tip of the week. It's usually a nice little fun thing or an additional piece that, that's a little more interesting that's not part of the course. And then I'll take you on to the next module. Now up at the top in the corner, is a checklist. Several semesters ago, a student says, oh, this is a lot to print out. I just want a quick checklist. So we developed this quick checklist. If you click on this, then here's a checklist of things you need to do. And you can print this out and go down these items as you complete them. Then once you've completed all the learning activities, then you can go in and do your graded projects. Now, if you want to go back to the detailed view, just click on that, and there you go. Notice as we went in the course, we started with a course map up here in the tabs, and every time you click on a link in this course, it'll create a new tab. So here's set up your tools. There we have it twice. So you can click on this little X on your browser to close that tab. So when you're done with a tab, just go ahead and close it. So here we set up our tools. And if we go into this page right here, 
you can see it's done an another tab. So when you're done with this page, just click on the X and close that tab out. That way you won't get like a thousand tabs across the top. And then get to get back to your home page, just click on Web Development. And this will bring you back to your page. Let's go to our content. There's also the syllabus out here. It's highly recommended that you print this out. So if you ever transfer to another college or university, you can show them what you've accomplished. I would print out the syllabus for every class that you attend. And finally, we put together a grade tracker so you can keep track of your grades. Now, this is an Excel spreadsheet, so it won't show up in D2L, so you'll have to download it. And I'll just save this to my desktop. And then if I look on my desktop, here's my grade tracker. Here's my grade tracker. Again, this hasn't been updated yet, but you can see this is the list of all the projects and quizzes you'll have to do. If there's any bonus points available by turning them in early and the total possible points. So you can print this out or you can save it. And then as you complete something, as you complete your email and get it graded, you can put your points in and keep track of your total score. So a lot of students like to do this so they can keep track and set these dates up on their to-do list or on their calendar. So be careful not to miss the quizzes. That's probably the most common thing that people miss. So we'll go back to the course map, the syllabus, and your grade tracker. So as you complete each week, go on to the next week. and work your way through the course.